hi youtube and thanks for tuning into my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber hey y'all so today guys i should have did the video i'm doing today i should have did four months ago when i got this planner however you know life 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 happens and it's a lot of other things that come first before youtube not that I don't love you all and love interacting and talking and texting, you know, and messaging back and forth in the comment section. I do, but life comes first. So, anywho, this beauty here is the Louis Vuitton agenda, desk agenda. So, as you can see, oh, you know what? I'm not prepared. I should have took all this stuff out. Okay, so it's just easy. It's, it's real easy. We're going to do some comparisons. Let me just move this stuff. I'll leave that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Yeah, this is a cut up mess right here. <laughs> but you can make it work, right? Okay. So I'm gonna take that out because this is the actual planner. I got this from off Amazon and all I did was just cut it and stuck it into the planner. So I really could have just left this side and stuck it in the back but just for some added security so it won't fall, I left a little piece right here. Put that there and we'll take this out. So this is what the inside of a Louis Vuitton desk agenda looks like. And yes, I got some indentions here from my paper clips, but y'all, this is mine. I'm not selling it. I don't plan on getting rid of it. I'm actually gonna take it to get um, hot stamped one day this week. And let it be but i kind of wish they had a way to put the card slots over here and these pockets in the back like i just wish the card slots was in the front and this area was back here or integrated i don't know but it's cool i'm not complaining but as you can see this side here is way wider than your cards your card slot here but what i do like is that your cards can go in sideways i am a big fan of putting your car in the long way versus vertical i prefer horizontal any day all right so this is it y'all i'm mad too i didn't wrote on this accidentally can y'all see them pen markings girl i have i'm at the chiropractor and i signed some papers threw the pen in my purse not even thinking right because i'm so used to having my own pen putting them in my purse that i threw the pen in my purse and then i'm like pull my planner out and it was writing on it and then the ne uh, next y'all let me get this right another time it was a clicker pen in my purse and it was clicked open and it got those markings so one's here um one's here i don't know if y'all can see it but i definitely can see them pen marks but anywho let's go ahead and take out this dh gate planner this planner was like 40 dollars maybe they tried with the color of the box. Let me see if I can get this color to not on point, but I mean, the color ain't bad. It's just Louis Vuitton would never have a sticker up here with Chinese writing. So, and then as you can see, the dust bag is not long enough because normally the flap on a Louis Vuitton dust bag comes at least to here. This light is so bright, y'all. So sorry. I just happened to look up. Okay, let me see. Maybe I need to leave it that way. And of course, I told y'all I looked at this. Who wouldn't? So it's not like it's an unboxing because I've already opened this thing. They try to put in a little bootleg textile card <laughs> and a little care card, uh, care booklet. But you know, whatever. They tried to give you the thrills and feels as a uh, makeup Misha say. Okay. So let's move this out the way so we can get to comparing. So right off the back, you can tell it doesn't have like the, the gloss on it. Like it hasn't been, I don't know. This is it. It's just, this one looks a little more dull to me. Like it doesn't have a shine. Whereas this one, has a little shine like maybe this needs some turtle wax or something but anywho size comparison as you can see 
well i don't know if it's because i've had something in my louis vuitton but they are the same height don't start they're the same height the interior color is different this is a darker brown this is more of a like a tannish <laughs> so the next difference is the side pocket here this pocket is up higher and this one's a, this one is shorter one thing i will say though is i kind of like the higher pocket in a way i don't know i've never used this but i don't know it just seemed like this would be a little more functional like i don't know like your cards would be kept a little more neatly let's see this one. Oh, wait this is my cash breakdown so that fits so they both fit but i just like how it it covers a little more of the card or whatever you have stuck down in there and this is from pink budgets So this one is from, oh uh, goodness gracious, I don't remember. It's a YouTuber though. I should find some cards so you guys can see the coverage that each pocket gives. Okay. So let's line them up and see if they, so basically they're the same width here. Now let's look at the other side. Again, the pocket is higher than the Louis Vuitton pocket. You still have the two flaps. Well, the one flap, I'm sorry. And this area here. So we'll line them up. And they're about the same width. However, I will say the corn. Wait, which one? Let's see. The Louis Vuitton is a little taller. It is a little taller in height. And then this um, DHL one is a little wider. I know mine has been used. I'm trying to see if it had that bend. How would it work? Okay. So those are the major differences, the interior color. But yeah, I'm telling y'all, the chance of seeing another woman pull out an agenda next to you and she ain't your homegirl, it's going to be very slim. I've worked around, if I can add them up collectively, let's see, 20... 40. 24. I'm thinking about the staff, right? Out of 40 people, a good 40, I was the only one with a, a Louis Vuitton agenda. So you best believe if I pull this out, unless they actually own Louis Vuitton, baby, they wouldn't know this wasn't real. Because the setup of the inside is how it's supposed to be. Like, unless they're going to sit there and measure your pockets, oh, that's up too high. But you know what I mean? Like, I can tell it's up too high just because I know what a real one looks like. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. It just needs a little little sheen on it, a little gloss or something. Um, it's, it's darker, as you can see. Let me line it up. But it's, it's lined up. Everything is where it's supposed to be for the most part, except for on the Louis Vuitton one. There's areas cut off up here. Whereas on this one, it is too, but not as much on the Louis Vuitton. Like on the Louis Vuitton, you can definitely tell, hey, this was cut, which this one is, is on point. But it's again, it's more left on the Louis Vuitton than it is on the DH Gate version. In your middle binder, you have the, the flower. In the middle, you have the flower. Everything is, is, is lined up like it should be. However, this is more of like a mustard type golden for the Florida lease and the signature. Whereas this is, I don't know, 
it's just like a, a brown but i mean hey it's your money if you want to buy it buy it you see i bought it reason i bought this one is because they had took this off the site y'all and i'm a procrastinator on certain things like with the coach um summer collection released with all the pretty coats i knew i wanted that purple and that green but i'm like where i'm wearing it to what i'm gonna do with those bags like i don't even got that much purple you know but i really wanted it and i wanted the red and i wanted the pink and i wanted the orange and i'm like i'm not about to spend a thousand dollars on coach bags so i just really took my time and, and asked myself out of all the colors which one would you wear the most you know what do you have in your closet right now if clothing would match whatever bag you buy and it was red so i bought the red so whatever that that's coming soon too y'all but anywho this is the comparison and you know on the louis vuitton the little circle here is not full like it is on the um dh gate one neither is this so that is cut off but if this one is a little wider of course it's going to be there and and keep in mind all louis vuittons are not identical they they really not identical like on my never full mm in the monogram my socks do not line up perfectly nobody with a real bag sides line up perfectly but however them knockoffs line up perfectly and you would think for the money you spending yours will be perfect aligned even though you had to bring the canvas together you know what i'm saying so anywho um again y'all i bought this Ooh, about six months ago so i don't know if the link would work i don't know how to share this like i stated i should have did this four months ago in the comparison when i got this and then this would only been like a month or two old but it was so crazy this came in the mail and then something told me call the 1-800 number and see if they have one of these and this came from king of prussia prussia persia persia whatever and i end up getting lucky and getting my baby so guys that is it that is all i have as far as comparing these two beauties um i will slide my stuff in this one for you all so you can see it will fit in here too and i'm a thick planner girl so it actually it covers way better than my louis you can just see the the tabs whereas in the louis it doesn't line up perfectly maybe because i didn't put this part in there so we'll see so this is what this looks like with my items in it i love a thick planner y'all they heavy on your shoulder but i love them like you get to have everything you need in it for the most part so i will be going in and i'm gonna take out like february march april and i'm gonna leave may june july and i'm gonna add september because i do believe i have august um in here yeah, I got August. So I'll be adding September in here, October. Because I kind of do like three to four months out. And I like having my little planner pocket so I can stick my stickers down in or, you know, whatever. Whatever I need to stick in there, I stick in there. And then I have the little overview of all the months so I can be like, oh, what's paydays? Okay, cool. <laughs> so that is that and as you guys can see it looks good in there all right guys so that is it that is all i have for my louis vuitton dh gate agenda comparison with your authentic louis vuitton desk agenda slight differences you know but when i tell you your chances of running up on somebody in a library who gonna whip out a desk agenda are very slim the average individual is not paying $600 for a desk agenda, okay? So pull this boy out with confidence if you do get it off DH gate. They ain't gonna know no difference. It's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. So if you come in there styling, you look presentable and you look professional and you pull this out, they gonna think you pay money for this because everything matches from head to toe. Now, if you come in there, you got a nappy ponytail, you got on some dingy flip-flops that look like you had them for three summers, your toenails all ate up. They not polished neatly. You know what I'm saying? Your shirt just all wrinkled and raggedy looking. And you got on some leggings and, you know, just just looking like you just left from the bed and went to the library. And you pull out this. Depending on where you at, they going to look at you like, girl, she is a hot mess. That is not real with that knockoff Louis Vuitton. You know, they going to automatically assume it's not real because you're not looking to par 
That's just people. That's their people. That's how they feel. That's how they think. But that's why people need to stop judging books by their covers and stop assuming things. But if you really look to par and you have this, nobody's going to question what you have because you look like the complete package. So, again, that is it. That is all I have, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, y'all.